All right, so there it is. It's all painted. There are a few imperfections, but I'm not sure if you guys could hear it. Just beat the rain. Um, so, yeah, like I said, there's a few imperfections. I'm not a body guy. I'm not a fan of body work. I try my best, but some areas just didn't happen. Um, let's see. So, the paint is supposed to be a satin white. And the satin's based off the Summit white color on the Camaro. Um, so, in my mind, I was picturing more of a flat or matte white. Kind of like um, Milk Money Malibu. But I guess when I search like satin white paint jobs, most of the time it would come up, I believe, a more of a flat look um, or matte. But I went ahead and did the satin. And it's almost similar to what's on the Elko. That's like a low gloss. Um, this has a very small gloss to it. Like I said, but there's no real reflection in there. It's kind of kind of flat almost. Um, but I was picturing more of like a, a matte white. Which is kind of what I wanted to go with. Cause like the satin black, like kind of like what's on the frame, it's more dull. There's no reflection on it or anything. That's kind of what I was hoping for, but in white. Um, but like I said, I'm I'm not mad at it. But I was picturing something a little different. I like how it turned out. Like I said there's still some imperfections. A little couple hell dings I missed up there. I got the big ones. Um, <laughs> I think there's one time I either stepped across it or something got in there. So, got that in that fender. Um, where I tried the skim coat and some body filler. It's not perfect on the doors. So, not too concerned about it. I'm not a perfectionist, so it didn't need to be perfect. But it is... Like I say, I call them nice 10 foot paint jobs, 10 feet away, couldn't even tell. Um, but yeah, just, had, just set the fenders up here just to clear up a little bit more room so I'm not tripping over stuff. But eventually I will go back in and paint all the bolts that will be seen. Um, like those ones also. But everything is painted. Um, the next step will be to put it back together so I'm not looking forward to that so I did a better job at labeling some of these bags but I just had like doors and trim and should have put specifically where it came off of but just being lazy on my part so it's gonna be a little bit of a puzzle trying to put this back together um, it's not a show car, but it's going to be a nice little street car. So, yeah. What do you guys think? But, oh, yeah. It's, it's coming down out there. Um, <laughs> but... And I was surprised so far I've only found one run. So it's right. It's right in there. Not sure if it's picking up on camera or not. But that's the only run on the body I found. There were a couple like inside the jams, but not too worried about those. Um, what else? The paint gun. Um, I was having a little bit of problems with it at first. Like I said, I don't know if the top wasn't um, setting right on the cup, so there's paint coming out from there. But it sprayed just fine. I think the cup leaking was the biggest uh, part. 
That's what might have been what that, uh, that might have caused that run. I'm not sure. But it's a single stage paint, so single stage satin white. I didn't want to go with base coat clear coat just because I was doing the satin. Um, if I was doing like a gloss or something, I'd have went base coat clear coat. Uh, what else? Like I said, two coats on there. I was able to pretty much 15 minutes in between coats. So started on the roof, worked my way down to the driver's side, did all that, came around to the passenger side. Um, picked up where I started on the roof and then came down on this side Did the bumper and the firewall And by the time I got all that painted it was about 15 minutes. So I just went back and started where Yeah, I went back to where I started and just did it all over again And I came over and did all the fenders the hood the nose The doors and then like I said, it's the same thing once I did all that came back to where I started did it all over all over again and so I got the second coat on there but I'm about to run out of space on the camera so let's give you guys one more look around like I said it's not perfect there are some imperfections in there but for me it's good enough I like it um, there was one I'm not sure how it's gonna pick up but I kind of knew about this one drag the hose over it so cause that imperfection but for the most part i'm happy with it i said these are just sat on there till i'm able to redo those bolts but i like it i think it's gonna come out nice once it's back together can't wait for the motor and transmission to be in there so i get some weight and see what the actual ride height is going to look like Still thinking about stepping up the 22s. Throw these on the Elko. But you guys see what it's looking like. But that's it. Just a quick video. It is finally painted.